welcome to programming knowledge so this is our eighth tutorial of a django series so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so in the previous tutorial we were working with images so in this tutorial we are also going to continue working with images and we will uh, i will tell you how you can show images on the front end part of our application in a beautiful manner so before this uh, i would like to tell you again that this is the github link of our repository you can move to this repository download this project clone this project and with simple instructions you can run this project on your local machine so you can have a look at our source code source code as well so today we are going to work with images so in the previous tutorial i showed you uh, how to show an image and i applied some bootstrap classes uh, to show that image on the html page so today uh, before we start we are going to basically have an overview of the bootstrap grid system so in this grid system i, I will show you that there are some predefined classes with extra small, small, medium, large and extra large and this is the syntax for them call sm, call md, call lg and call excel for the respective classes and for extra uh, extra small we only need to uh, we don't need to define anything uh, with the practical implementation we'll get to know one thing you need to observe in this that the bootstrap container has a column width of total 12 columns so what you need to do you can define columns either either in the multiple uh, you need to define them in the multiple of 12 like either uh, you can define for an example a column of width 4 then again 4 then again 4 or then 6 and again 6 because 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12 and again 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 also or if you if you want to define any other ratio you can define a column of the width 10 and the next with the 2 because 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 uh, and this way you can define a column width of 12 columns by defining them and giving a proportion with your uh, with your desire what you want to give to your front-end application so this is a, a syntax how you can have uh, make columns plus rows so we will have some idea yeah this was what i was explaining that the total width of the column is 12 so what you can do do like here it has been mentioned the first is of column 8 and another is of column 4 so this was total about 12 and uh, this was a total width of 12 uh, and this would help you and bootstrap manages you to help have a responsive design of your application like in the previous tutorial i showed you how you can render an image using bootstrap uh, and how with, sorry with how you can render an image with django then with the help of bootstrap classes how you can make it responsive so let's get started with this tutorial so i would tell you first i would go to my vs code editor then i would run my server with the command python manage dot py run server so this would start the server on my local machine and what we can do till the time uh, i can show you one thing so this is our template which we had made it yesterday so i would move to the local host server so uh, what you can do you uh, this, so uh, this is my local server so uh, i would move to a route with the name i had defined uh, in the previous tutorial so i would go to move to my ulz.py file and my image page i had defined so i would move to that route my image page okay you can see an image had been already uh, uploaded on this route and on this page so basically i showed you how you can see the responsive design you can uh, press ctrl shift i or you can right click and go to inspect so this will lead you to chrome developer tools and from here you can see the responsive design of your application like iphone x shows this way and iphone 6 then pixel 2 excel then galaxy s5 so this shows the uh, responsive de design so one thing you notice as soon as i was on on a big screen the nav bar used to ha had expanded view but as soon as i moved to a small screen so you can see that a nav bar had been collapsed so this is the beautiful nature of bootstrap so this would help you in designing your front end application so uh, today what i'm going to do i'm going to de define a path my image page to 
and in views.py file I'll also define views.my image page 2 with the name is equal to my image page 2 okay so this looks pretty fine so inside my views.py file I'll define I'll quickly copy this and I'll paste it here and one change is I need to make my image page 2 and it will have image page 2.html as well so inside my templates I need to define image page 2.html okay I will move to my templates folder okay so this here is my so this is my image.html I'll qu uh, quickly copy this control I'll paste it here and image page 2 okay this looks pretty fine okay so uh, till the time what I'll do I'll remove this code and I'll save it as my image page 2 dot HTML so this looks pretty fine and I will move to my image page 2 okay so it says my uh, image page 2 dot HTML does not exist oh, oh I made a mistake here so I'll rename it as image page 2 sorry for the error now I'll quickly refresh this page oh yeah here it is so this is image page 2 so what I'm going to show you the beautiful nature of bootstrap here so this is a container fluid which you'll always mention then inside this container fluid I have a row then now I'm telling my bootstrap to divide this row into two columns div class okay and div class is equal to call md6 and I'm also defining another column of width 6 because I told you that bootstrap will have 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 as a column width so I'll also define another column div class this is going to call md6 and this would now this you can see now I have a column of two, 6, 6, 6 width each and this would uh, sum up to 12 now uh, uh, I told you yesterday that this is the syntax you are going to use because I told you that I have a static folder inside there are, there are two images so in order to load uh, load images from the static folder first you will define person load static and then you need to define the syntax with the person static side per person static with the image name and person again with the curly brace so I'll quickly copy this and this image fluid is an bootstrap class which helps you to make a responsive page okay in this first line I would I would uh, put this image okay so this is the uh, image I'm going to put and one shortcut uh, you can see I can uh, right click here and uh, click format document with HTML language feature so what will it do it will format my source code and it, it will help you to better maintain the indentation of the code and in the next I'll copy this so since I'm showing you a demo uh, we had done this in the previous tutorial how to load and starting image so let me give an another image that was uh, python.png so i'll give this a name as a python.png and i will move to my page and and refresh this page so you can see now i'll quickly uh, i'll click inspect and i'll show you uh, let me do this uh, okay so you can see here I'll uh, have an expansion view. This is my row. Oh, okay, this is now you. This would pretty help you to have a clear understanding. Understanding how Bootstrap works. This is my container, and this is my navbar. Okay, this is the navbar. This is the container. I go inside a row. So this was my row. Then a column of width six. You can. The left portion is my column of six. Then this is the image. Okay, okay this is the column of width 6 okay and then i move to the second column of width 6 here it is this was the second column of width 6 and this is the first column of width 6 
first second and th that was the image but now as soon as i change my display i move to a galaxy s5 see the magic yeah it automatically collapses the image and it helps you to make much design much responsive so you need to inspect element in order to learn about this so this is again call md6 6 width and this is the 6 of call md6 in the another so we are going to continue with this in the next lecture as well i'll tell you how you can render images and how what would be the responsive design of your application so uh, uh, let's uh, i'll catch you up in the next lecture so thank you guys thank you so much and yeah thank you guys